Our month in Mexico had rolled by in the blink of an eye. And since there are probably no more tacos left in the entire Yucatan Peninsula, we are ready to make some big moves to our next destination, Bocas del Toro in Panama. And as per usual, our pre-departure to-do list was pretty daunting, and with our weather window approaching fast, there was no time to waste. Luckily, our first item on the to-do list was actually a really exciting one. It was time to pick up our new crew from the airport. Delos has been home to heaps of different crew over the years, and we've had just about every dynamic on board. But when I departed Seattle to cross the Pacific Ocean with my brother Brady more than 10 years ago, I could have never predicted where we'd be today. Traveling the world with my wife and daughter has been a dream, and with the addition of Taylor on board, I'd gotten used to being outnumbered by the strong women in my life. We were preparing to welcome two more crew to join us in Delos. And you guessed it, the cards were about to be stacked five to one against me, and things were about to get pretty interesting. We're waiting for Jade and JC. We met Jade and JC in the Dry Tortugas a few months earlier and really hit it off. We caught up with them again when we were back in Key West when they were both working on sailing charters. They make a great team and were giving off such good vibes that we decided to surprise them at work with a rather unusual proposition. I don't know if you know this, but we do this sort of sailing scholarship thing and we, uh, we uh, collected some money and we like to use that to to give people the experience of sailing on the ocean. And so if, if you're keen, uh, what we'd like to do is uh, fly you to Mexico, and then we'll take you on a sail from Mexico to Panama, and then uh, we'll fly you back. I've already cleared it with Brad, and so if, if you want to do it, then uh, we'd love to have you on board. <laughs> is, that, is that a yes? Yeah. Okay, good. Jim and I have been talking, and we've been thinking now, and it might be a good idea for you to work on another boat with another captain to see if that's a better fit. So one of you guys has to go on Delos. <laughs> Wait, seriously? <laughs> serious. Oh my god. So that's what you meant. <laughs> she scared me on the phone the other day. I thought I was in trouble. I was like, God, I'm getting fired. I'm like, Are we taking selfies? <laughs> what a character. <laughs> Good old Juan. Juan gave us a ride uh, to the airport. And instead of picking him up normal, he's going to be like Nacho Libre and picking up wearing his Mexican wrestler mask. When you are a man, Sometimes you wear stretchy pants in your room. It's for fun. So the true story is that Nacho Libre is actually my cousin. We used to eat frijoles together in the morning. And the, the flaco, the, the small guy, you know, the thin guy, he's actually my cousin's cousin. See, see, see. That's the true story. We do it for the kids. <laughs> the girls are still quite a few minutes away. So we're just sitting here. So it's Jay and Jade? Jade and JC. Jade and JC. How am I gonna film this? Okay. Welcome. Welcome. You guys made it soon. Welcome to Mexico. Cheers. 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 Here he is. Come on, come on. Here we are. <laughs> oh, they 
AC is nice. <laughs> it's like so hot outside. We're like all sweating. Yeah. Whoa, sweat. Brian is so sweaty. Look at your oh, armpit. Sweaty. <laughs> it's like, just don't raise the arms. <laughs> this is someone's bunk. You sleep here, out in the living room. <laughs> you get a privacy curtain. Gotcha. <laughs> we have one person. That, so Taylor is on this side, and uh, the other person is on this side. So welcome Thank to your you. home for the next uh, little while. <laughs> little while. <laughs> little while. We don't know how long. However long. <laughs> Time for the Wall of Fame photo. This is it. Dallas tradition. <laughs> okay. I guess okay. we're doing it right yeah, That's here. a great spot. With all the other pictures. All right, ready? I got to get in my photo stance. Oh, wow. One, two, three. Wow. <laughs> Yay! Oh, wow. Dun, dun. <laughs> We were stoked to have Jade and JC on board for so many reasons. The most immediate of which would be that we would have some extra hands to start tackling our super long to-do list that we needed to finish in the next 48 hours so we could make our weather window to Panama. Home stretch of our time in Mexico and it's quite a few things that needs to happen. Uh, first order of business, COVID test. Yeah. So the whole crew needs to get a COVID test. So we're going into town to one of those little booth thingies and then onwards to provisioning and checking out and other things. <laughs> but let's just take one thing at a time. Can you film me? We are here today. Okay, thank you. At least it's quick. How was that? They're not up there for long, but whoa. It's pretty efficient service. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not nice. It's like tasting blood right now. <laughs> Are you okay? You did so good, Sierra. Are you okay? She did so good. She's like, good. Okay. <laughs> All right, so everybody got their COVID test done? Yep. How's everybody feeling? Hopefully we're all negative. Oh, your nose is tickled. <laughs> I've already cleared us out with the marina. I've paid the marina. We got an awesome discount because we stayed here over a month. And so the next thing we have to do is immigration is coming yep. here. You guys don't have to be here for that. It's just me. So I'll stay here and I can stay with Sierra if you guys want to do the provisioning or something. Provisioning. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, shopping mission! With five semi-adults and one baby nugget on board, provisioning would be no easy feat. We were planning for seven days at sea, plus a possible quarantine of one week upon arrival. Three meals a day for six people for 14 days is 252 meals served up. Add to that a little buffer just in case the sale takes longer than expected, and we needed to find a place to store around 300 servings of food on board. How's it going for you? Well, we've got a lot of Coke. So it's funny, because here they don't sell Coke in cases, and we're buying a lot of Coke. So I had to like individually pick them all out. But so far, so good. I'm gonna cross some things off the list. Yeah. Okay, apples, bananas. Okay, getting there.
Put away some shit. <laughs> Eating some lunch. <laughs> Buy all the food. So much food. Yeah. But I think we did really good and the provisioning is pretty much done. After spending the last month on the dock in Isla Mujeres as our gateway to explore the Yucatan Peninsula, we had completed our final tasks on land and we were all pretty keen to spend our last night in Mexico on the hook. So the next morning, it was time to cut the cord and get back to our salty cruiser lifestyle. <laughs> you guys stoked? Oh yeah. Let's yeah. do this, huh? Woohoo! All right, does anybody want to get the last five seconds of air conditioning? Yeah, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> that's me. Before I'm I cut the power. My, I'm gonna stick my face in it. <laughs> wow, that's wow. what she said. That's what she <laughs> so nice. Glorious AC, huh? Don't let it end ever. I know, we've been really spoiled. We're at three, two, one. Oh, sad days. <laughs> and now, a short message from our sponsor. East Door, East Door, and this is the Delo Shore Party. Over. We do, huh? Bears. So if you're looking for something to cozy up with and watch tonight, head on over to 80northseries.com. That's it. Bye-bye, oh. glorious dock. And pool. Are we gonna fire it up, we're Captain? Fire up that beast. Okay. Turn and burn. And then, yep. Thanks, guys. Bye, Slip. <laughs> nice first passage. Off. All stubbed up? I'll snub it up. Snub it up, do you? All right. Now we can finish getting ready. First order of business, we gotta clean the bottom because we've been sitting here for a month without moving, so she's probably a bit dirty. So you guys are gonna go down on snorkel and fins. I'm gonna go down on scuba with the machine. And I think if you guys focus on like the water line, and then I'll just do like the keel and the rudder and the bottom, and then it shouldn't take us very long. Yep. Teamwork makes the dream work. This is my uh, bottom cleaner. It's pretty cool. Basically, like I can do the whole boat by myself in like two hours. Wow. Where normally it would take you like two days. Pretty impressive, right? Pretty cool, actually. Nemo Power Tools. Dot mm -hmm. We just have to use the good old-fashioned muscles, us ladies. I might let you use this day if you're real nice. <laughs> Keeping the hole clean is an important part of our maintenance routine on Delos. The natural buildup of bottom growth decreases the hydrodynamic shape of the hull and creates additional drag, and actually has a really noticeable effect on our speed through the water. A dirty bottom can take one knot, or sometimes even more, off of our speed. Delos had been sitting at the dock for about a month without moving, so she was definitely in need of a good scrub down for our 1,000 mile passage to Panama. Oh my god! Oh, sorry. <laughs> I love it. Wasn't too bad, huh? No. It's actually not that bad at all. It she's felt like a not faster. She's though. a slick, slick bottom girl now. Yeah. <laughs> bottom girl. Remember the chair dogs? <gasps> Ready? Whoa! Big baby. Uh oh, you're too low. Let's crank you up. You ready? Whoa! Wee! Whoa! <laughs> you like being on anchor, don't you? Me too. It's nice out here. All right. So before going on like a pretty long and hard upwind passage, I like to just take a look at the rig and do a kind of a visual inspection. But most of the problems you'll see will be like right where the, the strand, this is 19 by one strand, 
and this is the swage. So when we made these in Thailand, we basically cut the cable, the strand goes all the way to the bottom, not all the way, but like to right here, and then we used a hydraulic press to kind of squish this in here. And when it squishes it, it actually creates a little ball of cable down here, so it can't pull out. It's like a compression fitting. And most of the time they fail, they fail at the bottom because water comes down here, and if moisture gets in here, then it can cause rust inside of this, even though it's stainless. And then the rust expands, the strands break, and you'll get cracks in here. And so when we look at these, like, you can never really 100% tell, but what you can do is you can take like a pick, and I like to go around and basically touch each one of these. I'm just looking for kind of any type of movement or any differences in spacing, because if there's pressure inside of this, it'll actually distort the way that these strands are rolled together, and then you can tell that there's a potential problem in there. And then I'm gonna look at the swage itself and just kind of like look at both sides, you know, look for cracks around here. So we're looking for any obvious defects in this, and then down at the chain plate, we're checking to make sure that uh, the pin is in and is not cracked on either side, and that's about it. We check the bottom first, uh, that's a good start and then we'll go to the top and then we'll do the same thing working our way from the top of the mast down for both the main mast and the mizzen mast. Does that make sense to you guys? <laughs> Just like the boat to the dentist is what you're doing. How are we looking? <laughs> looks pretty solid to me. Solid? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> It looks good, right? It actually went up one time on the force day, on the top of the mast, that the cotter pin had broken off. And this and this pin was starting to back itself out. And if that would have happened, like once that comes down, then the whole rig comes down. That was before a passage that you yeah, were doing? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So that's why I always check it now before a long passage. Hey, Nugget, are you going to do an inspection soon? Yeah, she's inspecting. Yeah, when's the you get to go and Nugget up the mast? Sierra was way too busy with lots of other important jobs, so we had to settle for hoisting me up to the top of the mast to finish the inspection instead. Get it, Tay, get it! Next! We're on grinder number three. Okay! So this is the pin that one time I came up had broken off, it cracked inside and it was gone and this clevis pin was like backing itself out which would have been an absolute disaster. So now I'm just checking that, that looks good, the pin looks good, this looks good, the swage looks good, I can't really inspect the strand. What? Hey, oh, hi! Oh hi! Hi! What are you guys doing? How does it look up there? It's beautiful! <laughs> This bolt is in here. That's good. This is not gonna fall off. That's nice. That's tied. This block is still in good shape. That's good to see. This all looks nice. And then I'm gonna come to the back and check the triadic stay. So this is the triadic here, which connects the main mast to the mizzen mast. It's actually the four stay for the mizzen mast. What a view! Oh wait, it's working, it's working! Yeah, it's really working. No. Nope. So far, everything's looking good. I think I'm ready to go down to the second spreader now. Okay, stop. Curious George out in the wild here, <laughs> monkeying around. So far, so good. Everything's looking real nice. I don't expect to find anything, but it's always good peace of mind to do it anyway, you know? All right, I'm ready to come down. Welcome back to Planet Delos. Thanks for not dropping me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't speak too soon. I can let it go. Go ahead and see what happens. Drop it. Uh, yeah, everything looks real good. Yeah, nice. Now we got to check the mizzen, and uh, we'll haul you guys up. You guys ever been Sierra. up top of mass before? Never. No? First timers. First timers? Are you scared of heights? Love heights. <laughs> Love heights. That's so. Good. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. Let's try and do this one handed. Yeah. 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 
Just kick, just kick, kick your feet out. There you go. Okay, first time ever going aloft. This is freaking cool. <laughs> How's that? That was a lot of fun. All right, who's next? Oh, you keen? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Get it. <laughs> you want to go all the way? Yeah. Yeah, I might as well go all the way. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, shoot, it's recording. Well, hi, there's the sun. Kevin, if you see this somehow, and you see me at the top of this mess, hey, what's going on? <laughs> Not too bad though, huh? No, it was great. It was super beautiful. It's about 70 feet up there. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's my turn up here. Woo! Last sunset in Mexico. This is a good way to spend it. success and that was the last item on our to-do list wow we're all Pretty, checked off we're all yeah. good that feels good that's a really satisfying feeling yeah <laughs> sunset gets cooler if you see it upside down <laughs> what does it look like the water's on top oh, i can of the actually sky. just show them watch all right there you go there you go you ready okay everybody I guess I could have just done that in <laughs> Premiere too. <laughs> just like flipped it. Same effect. I've been feeling pretty nervous about this passage. I feel like it's gonna be a pretty tough one and I've had quite a lot of anxiety towards just the unknown I guess. I'm always like in uh, me and Brian's relationship like I'm always the one worrying about everything and Brian is always the one that is like yeah it's gonna be okay like let's just get out there and see how it goes <laughs> and I am not very good at that so I've been I've been practicing now for this trip uh, I think my biggest worry is Sierra um, to have her on board for seven days for the last couple of months like we've had her off the boat pretty much every day so she can run around and like get some of her energy out and now it's gonna be a week without that um so i feel a little bit nervous about that but it feels good to have so many crew to help us and we're gonna be able to get so much more sleep which really helps too when things get a little bit rough and if Sierra's in a bad mood and stuff. So so it's great to have the Golden Girls here and I feel like we're a really good crew already and everybody's super stoked and it makes me more stoked too, right? Their excitement is like contagious and I feel more excited about it too, even though I know it might be difficult parts and seasickness and stuff like this. Nervous, but also excited and very stoked for our new crew. They're awesome. So, see? <laughs> Up next on Delos, we go for one last swim, brief the crew on the passage, and head out into the deep blue for our 1,000 nautical mile sail to Panama. Okay. 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 This is Sierra's little dance. Hey Nugget, can you do your dance? <laughs> okay. Everyone else has to do it before you'll do it, huh? Okay, Nugs. Nice. There it is! There's the dance! Whoa! She's like a ringleader. Oh, wow. Straddle that pole. Last sunset! <laughs> <laughs> Last sunset in Mexico! <laughs> Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> hey! You see him in the cockpit over there. See him in the cockpit? <laughs> uh. 
Uh-oh. <laughs>